Okay. What's good, everybody? Welcome to the Streets Talk with Naturally Not. I am your host, Naturally Not, and I have next to me Darby Adams. She is the owner of Your Village LLC, and we're going to dig more into it so you guys can find out exactly what it is. So, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you on this good Sunday. Yes, ma'am. That's Thank good. You. So, where did you get the name for your business? Like, what created that name? Here in Durham, here living in Durham, um, here on this side of town, you know, the village. Right. Um, so that just really brought the idea of it takes a village and that I, that concept of that shopping center, putting it into the idea that we can all come together, you know, as a community. So it takes a village to raise a child. So yeah. I like that. <laughs> so when I heard the name I all gate thought exactly what you just said. Um, not more so the shopping center, but that's really dope. But just some the fact that it does take a village to raise a child, um, that's when the community outreach comes into play. Mm -hmm. I was reading information you had emailed me, and I saw that you, you know, you want to give back, but you want to turn it into a nonprofit or make it as a nonprofit, right? I do want to branch, pull into some nonprofit work into okay. my limit liability. Um, company just to give more opportunities for volunteer work because I will be working with kids and I do want them to get a feel for what it's like to be the person on the outside of the box looking in. Okay. So. so where does the public relation part fall in? It? The public relation falls in with businesses and people who are self-employed so just trying to bring in people who are already established to branch out to people who are looking to become established. Okay. So yeah. That's dope. So elaborate a little bit more about it. So like what, what exactly do you offer? So I offer event planning services. So doing things that will bring a different image to your business by still promoting products that you may offer, services that you may offer but giving people outside a different look at what you do or the things that you might stand for. So Okay. That's dope. So y'all need to make sure y'all tap in. Yes. And also I, I like how you have uh, the fact that you want to work with the children mm -hmm. and I'm big on that too. And I think it's really dope too because you have public relations. You can also, it goes hand in hand because you can teach them the stuff that you already know. Yeah. So that would be a dope program as well. So that, that's dope. Do you have anything like you want to go you know a little bit more into as far as your public relations um so right now working with kids is something i'm doing i am in school and finishing my human resource degree and that is another aspect to the services that i do offer so giving other businesses that might be small businesses a chance to reach out for staffing okay. so to students um offering services where they can come in help learn the trade so they might get interested in what you know in picking up that opportunity mm -hmm. that might come about offering a and r work so for artists i'm mm -hmm. um, doing not just music but artistic work sculpture painting you know photography even journalism being able to show that people are interested and don't just feel alone in the world about it okay that's dope. I like that. So even um, just like what you said, as far as all arts, do you plan on like getting a building or? I do. Okay. Um, right now I'm working from home, so I do. I prefer to find venues and commute, but I do eventually have in my five-year plan of getting a building or multiple buildings because Durham is a place I want to come and target because of how big it's growing, and I feel that. The go not the more so the government, but the city itself mm -hmm. is focused on making it beautiful. But the people who have been here right. need to be included, and that includes taking the crafts that they have put into throughout the years being here, and even through the generations that are coming up living here. You know, they have to be a part of the beautiful, you know, beautifying. Right. Durham. Yeah, because it's, it's feeling like they're just trying to kick us on out of here. It's just and like, bring well, people from New York yeah. and from uptown who have established, you know, equity. Right. Um, what about the people who were here when bread was 25 cents? Right. Now bread's going up to like $3. 
what are we doing for those kids that are gonna have to live when bread's five dollars and like, it's so hard to find you know entry-level jobs why don't these people come and offer these kids just a little bit of training to put on a resume right you know instead of pushing them out here in the streets telling them go find it your own exactly so well yeah that, that was deep <laughs> <laughs> but I, I can relate um as, as far as like the food aspect as well and having to do a lot of stuff like for instance my senior year, i had to do a lot of stuff with my own because mm -hmm. my mom being sick but i didn't have no other mentors yeah. i had my mom she was the one telling me okay yeah this is how you do this is how you do it but if she was sick it's like i didn't have anyone to look to so it's like okay dang how do i do this right or how do i do that so it's good to have people like you to put things in place for the youth to be able to have hands on and reach and you know reach out to you and learn about the different things that you're trying to do or you know instill into them which is really great so do you have any clients right now as far as your public relations right now i've just been working on my first event that is coming up on samford it's a networking lunch it's also like a launch party to bring other businesses um i actually have a project in mind of working with networking a church okay um bringing the church we were discussing billy Ava free will baptist um just bringing kids into the ministry a little bit more right. um not to convert but to just educate and just be aware that there are people who are out there in your religious settings that right. are there to support you and not judge you and it took me years to understand that so I think that me as someone who's walked those fine lines mm -hmm. will really be able to bring in our youth and just advocate a little more um, I have a few people who are looking to partner with me out in Sanford okay. um, so I'm taking it small being just me right. and uh, <laughs> I, I have other bags that I'm in so I'm just balancing my time really easy <laughs> well that's good too because I've witnessed it just by me being at Charlotte University for like what two semesters mm -hmm. um it's like anytime they approach the college students or even the youth with uh Christianity or just being in the church as a whole it's always like well, if you don't come to church you're gonna be in yeah, and it's just like, wait a minute, this is not the right approach. <laughs> like, yeah. So it, that's also good that you're, you know, going to be doing it as well. Because like you said, you, you walk the different walks or whatever the case may be. So now it's like, you know, or understand that point of view that they're seeing. Yeah. So that that's good. I can't, I'm excited. I can't wait. <laughs> I, you don't even understand how I I excited wait. I am. Like as coming up through Durham and we've been to Southern High School. Right. I remember my senior year, you were already graduated. I was yeah. like a freshman <laughs> when you were a senior. I remember I told her I was looking up to her like she had this walk about her and I was like, she's going to be somebody like I'm trying to have oh, that walk. You. <laughs> You're welcome. And um, I remember I was I applied to Campbell University. I didn't want to go to an HBCU because Southern started getting rough. And I was oh, like, yeah, I, I just it. don't, you know, I just want it to be a little bit different. And um, I went. I got accepted to Campbell, and I remember an administrator stopping me and asking me, like, "Do you want to? You know, don't you think you should reconsider that?" Like, I was the only person to choose outside, you know, mm -hmm. of something different. And even going to that school, telling people I was from Durham, I was telling my father. People looked at me like, "You're from Durham?" I'm like, "Oh, let me stay away from you." Right. Like, no, like. <laughs> Like, yes, like, I'm, you know, I can be as classy, you know, I can switch up being, you know, multiracial, but I I still got Durham all through my veins, tatted on me for life, you know. Yeah. yeah we are so many different people. Um, like, we're one of the really educated out here. Like, yeah. so many people who went to our school alone are, like, exactly. doing things. Like, shout out to y'all. Like, like, hey, right. <laughs> You know, so really, so I'm just trying to put cities like us on the map, you know? Yeah. And it's something That's the goal. That's really yeah. the ultimate goal. <laughs> we work hard and, we, you know, we grind just to be able to put, you know, North Carolina or Durham on the map as a whole because we're from here. We, we know the ins and outs of Durham. Yeah. So it's just like, okay, this is what we need to do to make our community better. This is what we need to do for this. So that's good. I, I'm excited. I'm very proud of you. I cannot wait. 
So do you have any advice for any upcoming like nonprofit people that are trying to get into that or just owners of a business? Reach or? out. Reach out. Ask questions. Don't my mother may she rest in peace has taught me no question is a dumb question. Yeah, say that. Mm -hmm. Um so don't be afraid to ask. Um use your resources. There is so many people who are out here wanting to do what you want to do, but who are just afraid to, you know, take that first step. Don't let money be the problem. Don't let any excuses be the problem, and don't body it. Don't let nobody else be your problem either. She just so. said something. Y'all <laughs> She just did a little sermon that quick. And it's crazy because I was thinking about it like, dang, I don't have to wait for this or that. And it's just like, when I ask you, you got to keep pushing. Yeah. You got to um, keep telling yourself, like, keep going, keep, you know, never stop. Because it gets full. It gets hard. And you just feel like God is just picking on you, but it's not at the same time he's testing you. Testing you, yes. Um, you know, I've lost. I've seen people lost. You know, anybody who has lost feels like it's the end of the world. Mm -hmm. And honestly, you know, it's a step. To where you have to get to in in my company it is about taking those that pain taking all that adversity against you animosity and just trans translate it into something because that's all all this bad out here they talk mm -hmm. about this public image the public image that right. the news is putting out there is just from something that someone else hasn't understood about you so you just have to, you know, find a way to show people what you're talking about in the right way. Yeah. The, the right way. The right Same. way. It's the wrong way. We go. can do the wrong way behind closed doors. But let's do it the right way out exactly. here in front of these cameras, you know. Um, mm -hmm. that, that's really all it's about is just giving you a different light to who you are, what you're about, you know. Um, oh, I'm so proud. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so can you let them know where they can find you on like your social media? Yes, so uh, on Facebook, um, you can follow me at your y o u r today the number two d a y our tomorrow. So that'll be the number two m r r o w. On Instagram, you can follow my personal page um, that is underscore the number two, the word thousand number nine. So, it is public, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys have heard it here first. Thank you for tuning in to the Streets Talk with Naturally Not. I am your host, Naturally Not. And listen, make sure y'all tap in with her. She got some good stuff coming up, and I am excited yes. for her. I can wait. October the 8th, this is my first event launching. Um, I'm going to have Autumn Joy in the building. If you are from Durham and you know Grace, a.k.a. Red Dread, he is going to be in the building mm -hmm. representing for the 919 one time. Right. <laughs> um, and he's performing with Boosie. Like, that's a big big step on the map that's all I can like yeah I'm trying to get where Boosie was you know so right. you know come out show your you know show your brand show us what you're about it'll be in Sanford 20 bucks I'm paying for food there's gonna be a photographer and we're just gonna have a good time talking about how you gonna come get this bag you know right. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure y'all tune in the interview will drop around that time period so it's awesome she got it going on so y'all make sure y'all tap in with her and listen be great and we out <laughs>